I'm going to make some uh, <coughs> Spanish potato tortilla. Um, I saw the recipe on Pinterest and it was a pretty popular one. And it's most likely, from what I can tell, a uh, recipe that is mostly used in Spain. It might be used in other places too that I don't know about. But <clears throat> the recipes I read were uh, people talking about visiting Spain and eating this. So I start by frying the potatoes and then I'm going to let them cool a little and put them in scrambled eggs. And well, uh, uh, while they cool, I'm going to fry some onions and then I'm going to mix the eggs with the potatoes and the onions and then fry it together. So this is, I, I made it one time and it was really good. So I'm going to make it again. I'm going to have it for breakfast and then I'll have the leftovers for lunch. So I like watching things cook, but I don't know about you. <laughs> I'll give you a, a, a pause so you don't have to watch it all the way through. All right, here yes. I'm going to cook now the little um, onions. I'm going to brown them because the recipe did not brown the onions. They simply sort of sauteed them until they were translucent, but I want them browned. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to choose uh, half cooked onions, so this is what I'm going to do. that oil will uh, brown other things better or caramelize other things better when after I fry potatoes in them so that's um, what I did I I uh, fried the potatoes first and now I'm cook, cooking the onions because that um, helps I'm cooking them after the potatoes so they can get more brown. And another thing that helps brown them quicker is a little bit of salt. Where did I put my salt? Oh yeah, here. Let me pause you so I can use the salt grinder. Now I salted them and they will brown nicely. Now I'm going to get the eggs out. All right, these have cooled a little and I have scrambled the eggs. Now I mix them a little. And then I put them into the pan. I 
drain the oil out because I don't want to overdo it on the oil. Now I'm going to cover it and let it cook. Okay, I uh, slid it out, out of the pan onto a plate and then <clears throat> I put the pan upside down over it and then I quickly uh, held it securely with two hot pot holders and um, dumped it back into the pan with uncooked side down and now I'm finishing it that way. I'm going to cover it and turn the heat off because it's hot enough. There it is, ready to eat. And there's my latte. It's a uh, coffee with unsweet, plain original coffee, um, almond milk. So that's my non-dairy latte. Thank you, Frosty. Now, I want to enjoy this meal. It's my breakfast. I did a, a bunch of cleaning before I decided to sit down and have my breakfast. Because it's time to do major cleaning. Mmm. Yum. This is very good. Mmm. <clears throat> So tasty. I found the recipe on Pinterest and it was just attracted my attention. I've made it once before. Mm. I still have a <clears throat> half of a room to clean and some laundry to do. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Not. Mm. So good. It's windy today. And cloudy. And kind of <clears throat> looks like it wants to rain. Mm, your hand is getting tired from holding the plate.
This is brunch for me. I haven't eaten anything yet this morning. I just took the kids to school. First I gave them breakfast, then I took them to school, and then I came home and started cleaning, and then I decided I'll clean a while before I eat. So I've got a lot done already. I believe you'd really enjoy this food. It's not it's not spicy. It's warm and savory. And it's vegetarian. In the past, when I was still in college, I was a little bit overweight, not like now, but a little, and I decided to lose weight, which I did, and I did it by every day I would have Cooked break I would have cooked cereal for breakfast, like oat bran with egg whites for protein, egg whites on the side, and then for lunch I would have uh, a chicken breast and a small baked potato and some and a large salad. the chicken breast I would bake and wow that was good really really good my point is that you can eat potatoes and lose weight just because I'm fat and I'm eating a potato doesn't mean that potatoes are the fault <laughs> they're not because I eat the skin and I, I portion the amount. Of course, this is a, probably two servings. Another time, I had wanted to lose 20 or 25 pounds. And that time, um, 